Swipe Up, episode 224. This is the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts and on the latest news and entertainment updates. I'm your host, Ray Taylor. From 13 foster homes to Oscar nominee, the inspiring story of Barry Keoghan. Every family was good to us, he says. Uh, Barry Keoghan's performance in The Banshees of Inishirin has received an Oscar nomination, a movie that I enjoyed. A character that I really enjoyed, a character that really I, I had a lot, a lot of love for. I love seeing him in the other movies that he's been in, which are like uh, he's Green Knight, American Animals, Dunkirk, Killing of a Sacred Deer, which I haven't seen Killing of a Sacred Deer, but I know it's it's one that's on my list because the director that's one of these un- up and coming directors that likes to do interesting things with film and. Uh, so I'm a fan of this guy and interesting to see his story. Um, Kugan played the role in the movie Dominic uh, Kearney in the film and deceptively sharp young man who played a crucial role in the story. Agreed. Uh, his childhood was marred by hardship, including his mother passing away and being placed in foster care. He developed his acting skills through school plays and watching films by sneaking into the cinema in 2011 he landed a small role in a crime field called between the canals and later studied at a local dublin-based acting school uh he has appeared in a variety of films and television shows including dunkirk killing of a sacred deer chernobyl have not seen that heard it's good the eternals have not seen that even have not heard good things about that but would be interested for not only his performance, see his performance in that, but also Kamel and Johnny. I've heard, you know, I like him as well. Uh, this is his first Oscar nomination, and it's seen and it's seen as a capstone moment in his inspiring journey. It is likely not to last, not the last time we will be he will be nominated for an Oscar. The, there was a deleted scene from the Joker, not the Joker, the Batman, the uh, most recent, the Batman, of the Joker in Arkham Asylum. Amazing. He played the Joker in that amazing scene. Didn't even put it together until researching for this, uh, that that was, like, he's credited as, like, inmate in Arkham. But it turns, he was the, which is an amazing deleted scene. I highly recommend checking it out. If you haven't seen it, I would imagine if you're a fan of the Batman, you've seen it. It was kind of going around when that movie uh, first came out last year. Um, so definitely excited to see what he does. Uh, you know, crazy story, but also somebody that clearly knew what he wanted to do. And it is kind of surprising how easy it is to follow your dreams when you have nothing when you have nothing to lose right he has he had nothing he was no his family was gone he was in foster care clearly had a passion for for film had a passion for acting took opportunities made the best of opportunities tried to develop his skills in his craft develop develop to get better it's a journey for him to get better at being an actor to follow his journey of being an actor and when you've kind of come from nothing when you have nothing to fear nothing to lose it's almost like a superpower in some ways you're able to push a lot farther than a lot of because everybody else that has plan b's that have fallbacks they're always looking for that moment to just give up and go to that fallback. But when you have no nothing to fall back on, when it is victory or death, when you have that kind of mentality, whether it's I need to go as far as I possibly can with this, regardless, not thinking of at this point I'm going to give up and go to plan B when there is no plan B, you're, it's surprising how much farther you can go. How much more you can survive and take to keep going until you start seeing those that passion start to pay off, right? And I would imagine for him, for anybody, 
that there is no destination for him, right? Even if he wins the Oscar, he's not going to stop. It's not the end of his journey. That's just that's just acknowledgement that he's on the right path on his journey and that he will continue to do and develop and grow and hopefully get rewarded with more acknowledgements as he he becomes the better version of himself every time and grows as an artist. So I appreciate that. I you know, I was a fan of his in Banshees of Inishir and I thought his character really stood out. He's definitely super sympathetic in that movie. Loved him in Dunkirk. Obviously amazing as the Joker in that deleted scene. Excited to see whatever he does, the American Animal kind of a heist movie. I I really love that as well. So super excited to see whatever he does next and and interesting to see that that's kind of his origin story in a lot of ways. Uh, Great stuff. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.